Hey guys, Boxhider. Before we start, I wanted to thank you guys for being supportive for my first tutorial. I know it was a bit rough on the edges and I had some mistakes while recording, but it's just gonna get better from now on. Also, some of you want to see some complex C++ tutorials. Seriously, don't worry. I'm preparing a nice multiplayer C++ only tutorial where I'll dive deep into Unreal's networking and share most of my knowledge with you guys. So, complex tutorials will come. Just be patient. Let me just get the easy stuff out to please the intermediate people and then I can focus on the advanced and pro people. Now, following the request from a subscriber, in this tutorial we're gonna be learning how to create the quantum break slow-mo system or the dead space uh, stasis system by slowing down the world except yourself and as an added bonus we're gonna recreate the Max Payne slow-mo system also and see how we can make the whole slow-mo system a little bit more juicy in terms of visual effects so I hope you guys are excited as I am because seriously I find this topic very interesting and fun to dive in so let's begin alrighty guys so I found a random video on YouTube just to see the gameplay and the mechanics in action because I really haven't played this game before although it's kind of like the spiritual successor of Max Payne so let's hit play and let's dissect the whole mechanics let me lower the volume a little bit more okay so we can see that he uses well one of the powers is kind of like the stasis system from Dead Space where you throw a projectile when it hits it creates an area of effect like that that slows everything down inside the radius and we can see that it slows the player a little bit for but slows the other actors way more than the player as you can see here and I think it's possible on Unreal let me lower the volume let it play while we talk so I think Unreal has a system like that it's called custom time dilation you have global time dilation and you have custom like specific actor time dilation so we can mess with the actors time instead of the actual global time and I think we've seen enough just to like dissect the whole system now let me hit pause before we move into the tutorial I want to show you guys the other part of the tutorial where we're gonna make the max pain slow-mo system which kinda correlates with this one also with the first tutorial so I'm gonna show you a game I was working a couple of months ago that it's cancelled right now I sold the rights to another company and I'm gonna give it a t uh, test play quickly with bots just so you can see the system that it's already built and then I'm gonna show you guys how to recreate that system which is pretty similar to the whole Max Payne slow-mo system so let's go to Unreal let's go first to my game and then we go to the actual tutorial okay guys we're in the game I took some time to get all the weapons first just to show you the different oh perspectives from different weapons on the slow-mo system trace weapons I think I'm gonna die Trace weapons, projectiles, and explosives. So I have all different type of weapons. Now enjoy the carnage, and the white bar is the the slow mo variable. Okay, so enjoy. Let's pick a shotgun. We already saw the sword rifle. <laughs> okay, let's uh, pick the ripper, which is a projectile weapon see how it is quickly okay now let's see it in action with the slow-mo ability okay let's uh, quickly sniper rifle <laughs> that was pretty cool let's wait for that guy to go a little bit there Yeah, you- oh, fuck. And, uh, Tesla launcher, quickly. Oh, 
Uh, okay, let's jump to Unreal. Let's start the tutorial. Alrighty, guys. We're going to be using the third person template from Unreal, the blueprint one. Sorry, no C yet. Stay tuned for some C tutorials coming pretty soon. Anyways, what we're going to be doing is we obviously are going to recreate the whole slow mo system from Quantum Break. But I want to first build the system to detect the actors in front. I'm going to be using a sphere cast or a sphere trace which is going to detect the actors that I'm currently aiming at and then activate the slow-mo on every single actor that's been hit by the sphere trace. First thing first, settings, project settings. Let's set the input first. Uh, we're gonna be using Q again. Action mappings, slow-mo, uh, yeah, slow mo. Whatever. Slow mo. Let's just put an attack. Because we're gonna then later do an actual slow mo system. This is like the stasis and stasis system from Dead Space and the quantum break mechanic. But I think they use projectiles. I'm not sure. But we're just gonna use a sphere trace again. Okay, slow mo attack. Q. Close this. Now. Let's quickly set up our camera just to give the illusion that it's a third person shooter game. Okay, we got this. First thing we need to do is I think it's spawn. Okay. On third person character self, right here on the left side, click here. Then on the details tab, put pawn. And where it says control rotation jaw, set that to true. And now we're gonna click the camera boom, 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 boom. Then we want uh, right side. Okay, perfect. Let me increase this a little bit here, shoulder height, or close to it. And let me close this. We're gonna set the socket offset. Let's set it to 100. Let's decrease the arm length to 200 let's see how that looks let's increase it a little bit more or decrease it uh, 180 let's hit okay let's see how that looks perfect now we got the controls of a basic third person shooter let's see if the camera collides well with the environment Yep, perfect. Okay, we got the camera set up. Now, we need to do the sphere trace. So, let's find an empty spot. Again, with the previous tutorial, you can do a function or whatever syst whatever type of functionality, custom events, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to be using custom events just to have everything visible within the same screen. So right click custom event. Wait, actually we need the input. Input Q. Okay. This will call. No. Input slow-mo. God. Too much errors today. Slow-mo attack and we're going to call. Slow-mo do slow mo attack okay we're gonna call this slow mo attack now in this custom event we're gonna do the sphere trace we're gonna do the math quickly so multi sphere trace uh, let's do for objects we're gonna do a multi sphere trace because we're gonna hit multiple objects at the same time so connect this, now we need to do the math, uh, quickly let's add the object types, make array, what we're going to use, uh, pawn or physics body, hmm, let's use pawn, let's make like different characters later on, okay, start, 
we are going to start on the camera. So, get location. We're gonna get the world location of our camera, which is gonna be the starting point. You can do whatever, if it's first person, what you're doing. Again, I'm just showing you how it works, so you implement it the way you want. So, get world location. Now, we're gonna do the math for the end location, which is, let's see if I memorized it correctly. It's follow camera, okay. Now we're gonna get control rotation. We are going to get the forward vector of our control rotation. And we are gonna multiply this by, let's do 5,000. Now we are going to add the follow camera location with the result of this. This is gonna be our ending point radius. We're gonna do 500, it's gonna be pretty big. Ignore self, let's actually draw a debug type. Now, let's see if it works before actually doing the whole logic behind it. Whoa! Yeah, it did work, it's kind of big. Let's change this to 100. Let me quickly organize this. Too much time making trace weapons and mechanics that involve tracing, so I know the math by heart. Okay, let's put 150 or fuck okay, it, let's do 300 radius. Trace complex. Okay, now for each hit that we get, 